Lawrence. The report dubbed democracy on trial, focused on the state of human rights defenders from 2015 to mid-2019 and paints a picture of human rights violations and suppression of freedoms. The report warns that if nothing is done, the situation will only get worse as we head into a new elections period. We cannot afford to be naive about the likelihood of violence, but at the same time, we should not accept violence as a given that just needs to be endured. Suggested reforms in the report by National Coalition of Human Rights Defenders include stopping Uganda Communications Commission from usurping powers of Uganda Media Council in resolving issues of journalist practice and ethics. Other recommendations call for the president to rein in on the armed forces and the amendment of the Public Order Management Act and the Computer Misuse Act. In terms of saying that whatever statement is issuing through his computer or his electronic gadget is offensive. Now what is offensive? What may be offensive may not to you may not necessarily be offensive. So the misuse of the law is at times applied. UPDF Chief Political Commissar Brigadier Henry Masiko reiterated the army's readiness to defend the sovereignty of the country against civilians purportedly descending towards militarization. We, we hope people who are trying to copy the military attire are not even moving towards the temptation to, take, to do their activities in a military way. Should they do that? It's up to them. They will. They will have to account for, for what they will have chosen to do. We are anxiously waiting for them to be charged with wearing the red berry. But they have not because they know they would be committing an illegality. They are charging them with a legal assembly and all these different things. Why? Because they know there is nothing legally wrong with our red berry. The UPDF has got their berry, we have got ours. And he is currently scrutinizing and consulting the population on some of the electoral reforms proposed by government recently. Jackson Onyango, NTV Weekend Edition.